what is going on guys i'm director nat back for another reaction and the day has finally arrived today we are checking out the season three premiere of the owl house the first of the three 45 minute specials we are going to be getting over the coming months the beginning of the end for the owl house but we are not here to focus on the negative only the positive and i am so unbelievably excited to finally see this episode after all these months of waiting now i do need to let you guys know before we begin that this is not going to be a totally blind reaction because recently i was fortunate enough to actually go to the owl house panel at new york comic con which let me tell you that was one of the highlights of my life so far i'm actually planning on doing a video about that so keep an eye out for it but yeah it was so amazing to get to see dana terrace and many of the cast members in person to hear them talk about the show and uh, give us some insight into what we could look forward to in season three and uh, they actually showed us the first six minutes of this episode which let me tell you getting to not only experience those six minutes on a big screen but with an entire uh auditorium full of fellow owl house fans who were like literally freaking out the entire time you know there's there's just nothing like that you can't replicate that so yeah the first six minutes of this episode i have already seen at comic-con but after that it's all new territory Today's episode is called Thanks to Them, and I'm not really going to speculate too much on this episode, obviously, since I've seen the beginning of it anyway, and I at least have an idea of what to expect, but I'm really, really excited to check this out. We've had tons of months to think about it. Uh, I uh, have gone back and rewatched the entire series and given my thoughts on it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's just so much to look forward to in this episode, and uh, it's just going to be really interesting to see how they uh, managed to wrap up the show in just these three specials, but you know what? It's like Dana Terrace said, uh, limitation breeds innovation, and uh, if my time at Comic-Con taught me anything, getting to talk to other Owl House fans, it's that uh, we all have faith in Dana Terrace and the crew that they are going to deliver something truly amazing. The Owl House has already cemented its place as one of my all-time favorite shows, and I cannot wait to see uh, how they're going to get season three started, so so, uh, yeah, I think I've got everything. I've uh, shared my thoughts. I've got my bad girl coven shirt and everything is set up. So, yeah, I guess we shouldn't waste any more time, guys. So, without any further ado, The Owl House, Season 3, Episode 1. Let's get started. Luce, I'm so happy I had you as a big sister. Making us experience this all over again. <gasps> hey, Mom. I'm back. <laughs> How have you been since... Uh... Since we were in Velos's mind? Since I found out I helped him meet the Collector. Oh my gosh, Hunter. They're all gonna hate me. They won't hate you any more than me when they find out that I might be a clone of someone who was a witch hunter with Bellos. Then again, I'm willing to bet that this person was the one who had a change of heart out of the two. So, in the demon realm, you fought the evil Emperor Belos, who turned into a monster. Mm. Right, but he was defeated by a newer, smaller bad guy? The Collector. We don't know what he is or how Belos found him. Who knows if we'll ever figure that out? But they're creating a lot of chaos. We have to do whatever it takes to get back. Sorry, I just think that's a really interesting detail because I know that uh, they said that the Collector uses he, they pronouns. So uh, Willow referred to the Collector as he and uh, Luz said they. So I, I just think that's a little interesting detail that they actually pay attention to stuff like that. You're safe here. Yeah, about that. <gasps> Whoa! 
<laughs> Hunter, look at all this awesome human stuff. <clears throat> Thank you for providing us with shelter, ma'am. Please never do that again. <laughs> and you can call me Camila. In the morning, instead of screaming, it'll do this. <gasps> Don't worry, B. We'll keep you safe. Good work. It's dead. Uh, <laughs> thanks. I'll figure that out later. Mama, I... I know I shouldn't have left. I never meant to lie, but I had to stay in it, and it wasn't because I... Hey, hey. We'll have time to talk later. I'm just so happy you're home. Yeah, I'm home. But they're not. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. I cannot tell you how loudly people were screaming uh, at the Comic-Con panel when they showed all this stuff. And let me just say, I think that a montage is not only appropriate for the Owl House, but a very smart way to have the passage of time. Also, fantastic new designs. Nice try, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's so good to be back, man. So just to reiterate, uh, the first six minutes I saw at Comic-Con, so all that stuff was stuff that I had already seen before, but from here point on, it's all a blank canvas for me, so blind reaction begins right now. I'm so ready, man. Well, I mean, I, I know I'm not ready. I mean, this is the Owl House, but I'm ready. Thanks to them. Oh, uh, 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 am I doing this right? What? Oh! Oh! You're our top student. Hmm. I was the top student once. <laughs> he's still doing that, huh? He won't tell me what he's looking for. Oh, I like what you've done with the place. No more exposed nails or possum nest. But this still confuses me. Yeah, he still uh -oh. confuses us too. We're learning Spanish from the Scary Owl app. Who toot? Practice every day, or I'll appear in your nightmares. Oh, okay. Uh, human realm is messed up too. Como se dice eso en español? Oh, oh, uh, voy a luz uh, escuela. Voy a recoger a luz de la escuela. <laughs> Muy bueno. Keep it up. Whew. I was curious whether they were all going to go to school too, but that'd probably create a lot of complications. In the meantime, we could pull more weight around the kitchen. My mustard ravioli did bring tears to her eyes. Those weren't the kind of tears you're thinking of. I can spruce up the garden. <laughs> what you looking for, little dude? Oh, wait. Where's Bellows been all this time? Let's explore the town ourselves. After all, Luce went into the boiling aisles on her own. If Ida came here before, maybe there were others. Maybe they left behind something we can use. Yes, that's the spirit. You mean me? Hmm. Ow. It's a sign. We're doomed. <laughs> Come on, Flapjack. This isn't funny anymore. <gasps> There's something in here. Oh. 
He knew that was there. He's been in this house before. The house has significance. Duh, it had to have significance. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Hmm, looks like a map? Or a secret code? That eye. It, it kind of looks like the old portal door. <gasps> the, the portal, portal door. door! Portal door! Portal door! Portal door! She already feels responsible for our failed attempts. Then let's not tell her until we can figure it out. Using our buff brains. Oh buff boy. Brains. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I see you, Hunter. This epic ends with the homecoming of not just a man, but a hero. Hero? Everywhere he went, people ended up suffering. It does get bleak, but no one said his mission would be easy. He was just a pawn in someone else's game. And he was never smart enough to realize it. If his friends and family knew about his mission, they'd know that their lives would never have been in danger if it weren't for him. They should hate his guts. And it would be better if he literally never existed. Damn. Luz, I'm gonna need you to talk to the counselor. God, this is so. Hey, you're loose, right? Uh... Nice to meet you. You were right in class. We read about too many crusty old dudes. Give me books about crusty old women. <laughs> Face to no one. Old Gravesfield is the most haunted place in the state. Yeah, you gotta come. <laughs> Would they um prefer to drink blood, Mom? I, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, if we need to find a way, we'll find a way. No, look out! <gasps> oh, it was so scary. It just came out of nowhere. That deer really spooked us. Oh, right. I think I remember seeing some spoilers somewhere, but only vaguely. Jesus! Bellows, man, I know you've fallen far, but... Ooh, we've got a big day ahead of us, so I'm gonna buenas this noche. <laughs> that sounded painful. I've been training in the Emperor's Coven for as long as I can remember. I think I can handle a little pain. <laughs> that went clean through. It's cool that they can still do magic. Oh, and look at what I made. These Whoa. Are mystical beasts called wolves. If anybody wants to release that shirt design, I'll buy it. You've been smiling a lot more since we've been here. It's not like I don't want to return. I just, uh... It's good to see you happy. One of us might as well be. Mm -hmm. Do you miss it? I miss... knowing who I'm supposed to be. Yeah. I miss my dad. We'll find a way back. We have to. Oh, my Titan! That's a line from this book I found. Cosmic Frontier. It's a story that takes place in the stars. Why would anyone want to go up there? I don't know. Humans like spreading the junk everywhere. <laughs> you know, I've been getting into Star Trek a lot recently, so... And Chief Engineer O'Bailey, who's hiding as a clone from the enemy planet. Maybe they're getting some Halloween ideas? What, uh... It happens to him. I guess you'll have to find out. <sighs> they don't hate garlic like oh. Gus said I could get apple blood from the apple butcher, but oh, <laughs> until I find one of those, I'll have to use food coloring. Interesting how they all look in the flashback. So unhygienic. That girl must have been raised by wolves. Hey, wolves are actually great parents. And oh, happy dagger, huh? give me 
<laughs> her dad taught her that one. Ugh, gross. Now everything smells like lunch meat. Yeah, she's such a tryhard. Oh yeah, what did you just say? <laughs> Losing Manny was difficult for both of us, but Luz has always done things differently. Didn't you say you were bullied in high school, Mrs. Nocera? Oh. Uh, yes, but... Luz hasn't made any friends, her grades are inconsistent, and I heard she brought a live snake to school. Take this. It could help her. Ugh. You know, I was just watching a video by, um, Made to Express, I think, about the failures of the school system, so... All that stuff is fresh on my mind. You don't want Luz to struggle like you did, right? Mom? <gasps> Okay, I like this. I like that we're getting some more attention on Camilla. Mom, why aren't you mad at me? <sighs> oh, baby, come here. But the point is, you came home, and everything is okay now. But it's not. It's my fault everyone's trapped here, and, and I don't even know if King and Eater are okay. I wanted you to meet them so bad, but I keep messing up. Can I sleep here tonight? Give the palace a kiss too. Take your time. Luce is at her mom's vet clinic putting tiny little bandages on hedgehogs. Aww. Ears. Roots. Snacks. Check. Human disguise. Check. And <laughs> oh, that is a look. According to Cosmic Frontier, this is what the modern human male wears. This was written in the 90s about the year 2008. Yeah, can't wait for that New Year's party. I think he already knows. No, 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 spoilers. Hunter, I don't think the world is ready for the brave fashion choices of the year 2008. <laughs> Please change. Don't listen to her. We're going to miss the bus. <gasps> oh, it's okay. Uh, I'll catch up. <laughs> Too much for me to love. I'm going to borrow that book when you're done with it. God. You know, they were asking Dana, uh, in the Q&A, if Hunt Low would be canon. Sure, it's not that important. about to like go on this whole tangent of talking about my theories about uh how intelligent the giraffes are how much they remember whether evolution has changed them but uh maybe we just ought to keep moving how about we eat first yeah! mm. i was hoping it wouldn't come to this but i think i know where to go next oh no 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 stay away from that guy. It's okay. We just face down a giraffe. I can do this. Huh? 
He got fired after he started making edits to the exhibits. I work part-time now. <laughs> Say, have we met? Something about you seems familiar. Oh yeah, it sucks that they're friends and, you know, they can't really tell each other stuff. Just, but just the one, the normal amount of face. <laughs> what a coincidence, me too. If you ever need a tour guide, hit me up. <laughs> it's like a riddle, where pictures and symbols make up a word. Maybe something is waiting somewhere. You don't think this is leading us to Titan's blood? <gasps> Titan's blood! It's like you're reading each other's minds. You must have been friends forever. It wasn't always like this. These past few months have been weird, but look at all the new memories we have now. It's been nice to finally spend some time together. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to show everyone at home. Maybe the scrapbook could use one more? Oh, come here, V. <gasps> everyone say giraffes are still terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Old hey, Gravesfield. That map of old Gravesfield looks exactly like this. Ooh. I can't wait to tell Luce, and I know just how to surprise her. Hmm. What will you be, little palisman? You know, the show always inspires me. I need to start volunteering more at my local animal shelter. Hmm? What? Last time she tried magic, it didn't work. That he was here? I can tell you're hiding something. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't take this out on you. I'm just scared. Don't worry, Flap. If Bellos is really here, I'll keep you safe. You probably need to tell the others, like, or at least lose since you confide in her anyway. Hunter, what's wrong? Bellos. Okay, he's smart enough to tell at least one person. We can wait for the others if you... No! We have to take care of this ourselves. Titan, I hate this! I was never scared as the Golden Guard. Then how about we bring back some of that mask confidence, huh? <gasps> <gasps> Alright, fellows. What's about to happen should be relatively painless. If you just do what we say. That's right. So come out with your hands behind your... I love that Luz has the bat now. Creepy basement. Creepy basement. <laughs> what? Ah. Oh, thank goodness. It's just a little angel. I, I just want to make sure everyone's safe. Same. And that includes you, too. What? Yeah. Gotta make sure you're safe, too, Hunter. Your family now. Oh. <laughs> now this mask is pretty gross now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back before anyone worries. Yeah. <laughs> Bellas is gone. Do not like that foreshadowing. Guess what I've got planned? I'm gonna be Captain Avery, and you're... <gasps> Chief Engineer O'Bailey? Uh, how do you know about Cosmic Frontier? On oh, the books in your basement. Oh! <laughs> Funny how things just show up in basements, right? Without you hiding or putting them there. <laughs> Life sure is full of surprises! Cool! Uh... 
fun. We want to experience your weird human traditions. <laughs> and I thought you and I could take inspiration from... Good Witch Azura, the movie 2, The Betraying. The Betraying. <laughs> It's for your own good. Never! Please release an extended version of that, please. How could you do it, villainous Lucy? How could you betray your oh, friends? Of course that name. We'll never forgive you. Never! <sighs> Dear Diary. Oh. But I messed up too much and put everyone in danger. Mama says I have to learn from my mistakes. So, I know what I have to do now. No. I don't know what you're thinking, but... We'll keep the puzzle a secret till the time is right, and then we'll tell her about the Titan blood. Everyone keeping secrets from each other. And this will down, Flatjack. <laughs> and we might even have a surprise for you. Yeah, me too. I have seen the Mrs. Smith consorting with spirits unpure. Is this true, Mrs. Smith? Nay, tis a fool, Lord. Your Honor, I do object. It is Inquisitor Jones who's in league with the Dark Forces. Kid, come on. This is my spotlight. Behold! <gasps> Why are you clapping? <sighs> These children are demon spawn, and they want your teeth! Look! Look at his ears! He's from Mars! Hey, lay off the costume, man! <sighs> hope he's not gonna be too much of a problem this episode. I hope you're all prepared for a truly scary ride. Make, Make us, us cry. cry! Make, Make us, us cry. cry! Because there's nothing scarier than knowledge. Ain't that the truth? Let me tell you the eeriest unsolved mystery of Gravesfield. <laughs> the tale of the Brothers Wittabane. Wittabane? The year is 1613. Two orphaned brothers arrive in Gravesfield. Their names? Philip. They tried to fit in with this town and its unsavory practices. They became witch hunters. But the brothers Wittabane met a real witch from another world. Her name was Evelyn. She dazzled him with magic and visions of a strange yet beautiful place. They used a secret code to travel between worlds. Philip set off to save his brother and bring the witch to justice, but neither were ever seen again. Maybe Philip saved Caleb and they went on to lead peaceful lives. Or maybe he's still chasing his brother, caught in a cycle of horror and strife. Oh, you have no idea. Sounds like Big Bro got a hot witch girlfriend and Lil Bro got upset, but that's just me. <laughs> what would he be doing here? Titan blood. Puzzles? Amity? Why didn't anyone say anything? You and your mom do so much for us. We wanted to do something for you. And she's gonna surprise you with it tonight. That is so sweet. Uh, Can you get the Rebus? I'll say that again. Hey, what the heck? Uh, sorry, I I don't know what came over me. Oh, this is bad. Uh... Oh. <gasps> so we moved. 
Mom says it's because the house isn't oh. pretty enough, but I think it's because there's a better hospital for Dad nearby. Oh, she's been doing this a long time. I think this might be the worst week ever. But Dad left me this book. I can't wait to read it. Oh, I loved it! I loved it so much! <laughs> Look what I got at the convention! <laughs> I would've got my hair with it! Oh, that was a bad idea! <laughs> Mom saw my report card. Mika, if you had just applied yourself, but I am applying myself. But I guess none of this is going to matter on the SATs. It's been really rough for Mom since the funeral. So I'm going to wow my teacher's face off with this book report. Mom, you won't have to worry about me ever again. Ma says I have to learn from my mistakes. So I know what I have to do now. On Halloween, after the hayride, I'm telling everyone I'm staying in the human realm. Permanently. Oh, no, no. That's right, Camille. You do something about this. If that is the ending that we end up getting, so be it. But I don't want you to give up without a fight. There! Hunter! by the magic of the Isles, by the Titan itself. Closer I am to the Titan blood, the stronger the glyphs become. Oh! I just, I wanted to show Luce the Rebus. Huh? Wait, wh where did it go? <gasps> Kids, have you seen Luce? And has she, um, said anything weird? Bill, find a foe. V is just on a roll this episode. Are you okay? Do you see Bellows? Oh, no. Just my imagination playing tricks again. Why don't you find the Titan blood while I find my palisman? You guys are great friends. Have you found the blood yet? I'm on it. I just have to... Flapjack? Why do you look so scared? Loose. Didn't you use an ice glyph to get here? Your magic is working. I saw you. Glyphs do work here. You! You survived! I did. Thanks again for all the help, Luce. But I don't need you anymore. <gasps> ah, there you are. So interesting that it's got an uh, owl on it. See, this is why you're so useful, Luce. You're so desperate to help people. You even help me meet the collector. What? I thought this one was another lost cause. Because of you, we could finish our work as witch hunters, starting with that. Ooh. Oh my god, look at this animation. <laughs> This is the time for them to go all out. Hang tight, Hunter. Ooh! Cool. I know you can hear me, Hunter. Fight him off! <sighs> That's right. You wouldn't want me harming your precious palisman, would you? Oh, but then again, I don't care what you want. Goodbye, Evelyn. <gasps> Wait, what? Flapjack! Flapjack, you'll be okay. You know what I'd like, Bellows? I'd like to leave the Emperor's Coven and never step foot in that throne room again. I'd like to study wild magic and learn how to carve palismen. I'd like to attend Hexside as a regular student and play Flyer Derby with my friends. I'd like to make sure you never hurt anyone again. No! Oh, no, no. Move. 
All right, Camila. Everyone getting a chance to shine this episode. Be careful with them. <laughs> My heart is literally pounding right. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is for the good of your souls. You'll thank me later. Should we follow him? That's the Bellus you've been fighting this whole time? Guys, Hunter isn't moving. V, call an ambulance. Do human doctors know about possession? We're Grimwalkers? Possession? Grimwalkers? We should still call a doctor. Yeah, I'm maybe you guys. Reception. What do we do? I mean, I, you, you won't know how to get back, but maybe you guys should go to the Boiling House while you... So that's Evelyn. Wow. <gasps> we just found out the truth about her and she's already gone. God, I hope we get some kind of flashback. Is everyone else okay? Actually, Flapjack. Don't. Don't. I already know. Um, Luce, what did Bellows mean when he said you helped him meet the Collector? I mean, that was a lie, right? No, it, it was true. There was this time pool, and I met him. I met him when he was still just Philip, and I taught him the light spell. I introduced him to the Collector. I set everything in motion. I thought you'd all hate me for it. Which is why I have made a decision. I think it'd be in everyone's best interest if I took your mama to the demon world. <laughs> what? I couldn't hate you, Luce. The fact that you still stand up for us means enough to me. Miha. Now that I've seen what you're up against, there is no way I'm letting you go back alone. It is you were tricked. That's what Bellus does. He tricks people. But if it weren't you, it would have been someone else, and then there'd be no one left to fight back. Yeah, I was also reading a really good fan comic recently where uh, Luce tells the truth to Amity, and they have a similar discussion to this. Uh, if I remember, I'll try to put it down in the description because it was really good. Let's fight back. Please? For Flapjack? For Flapjack. The portal's closing. And we better head in. Please hurry while there's still time. Do not get separated. Thanks for the memories. We'll be back after we get some revenge. <laughs> Luce, I know things are scary. And I don't know what the future holds. It would be so cool if you were a part of that. But no more hiding, okay? I understand. See you on the other side. Promise. Oh my god. P please all of you just go through the portal. Right now. Before it closes and you guys get separated. Someone has to keep up appearances. Tell the staff I've gone home to see my abuela, okay? Carmen's in charge, Deanne has my schedule, and thank you, V. Please. I know this is a really sweet moment, but please, please, dear Titan, hurry. Please, hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm not sure what we'll see on the other side. Then we don't want to leave unprepared. <sighs> go now, go now before it closes, please, please, please. Oh! Oh, boy. Shoot! Camila still has the car keys! <laughs> oh. I can kind of see the credits right now. I'm gonna have to go back and check this out later, like, with the audio in full size, but I'm watching a live recording of this, so... <sighs> Oh. <sighs>
<clears throat> okay, guys, so that was The Owl House Season 3, Episode 1, thanks to them. Oh. I know pretty soon before long it's going to hit me that uh, I'm so excited to see what comes next, but we're going to have to wait a few more months for the next one, but uh, for now I'm just going to uh, talk about everything that I loved about this episode and uh, appreciate the fact that while we do have to wait for the next two specials, it at least means that there's going to be more time for us to enjoy the fact that the show is not over and get to talk about it and anticipate it together. Okay, so <laughs> where do I even start with this episode? Uh, normally I would have the recording pulled up and I'd kind of go through it one piece at a time, but I accidentally exited out and um, it's going to be a lot of trouble to get it pulled back up, but uh, yeah, let's see. So uh, yeah, like I said, uh, I was fortunate enough to attend the Owl House panel at New York Comic Con, so I had already seen the first six minutes, so it was, it was great getting to see that again, but the real treat of this episode was the blind reaction to the rest. I mean, this episode was fantastic. It is... It is everything that I hoped it could be and more. I mean, I, I have to, you know, give the crew credit because I'm sure with the very limited amount of time that they have left and the fact that these are the last few episodes, like, there was probably a temptation to, you know, be very fast-paced to get right to the really juicy stuff and to have a lot more epicness and action, but most of this episode is actually a very slow-paced, character-focused episode uh, that isn't light-hearted when it's not appropriate, and I really appreciate that. It's uh, kind of amazing with uh, how much they have to accomplish, yet they were still able to take their time, so I, again, gotta <laughs> give credit to them where credit is due, and uh, you know, it's actually funny because uh, when I was uh, trying to get this recording pulled up to watch, I accidentally tuned into it live a couple times, so I, I could have sworn that I saw like one frame that I thought was Ida's hand, so uh, for, I thought that we would be, you know, jumping back and forth between the human realm and the demon realm, but again, as sad as it's going to be that we have to wait even longer to see what the other characters have been up to, I appreciate that they didn't show the demon realm at all. Again, they put us in the perspective of these characters, you know, they have no idea what's going on, they have no idea what they're going to see once they get there, so we get to experience that mystery with them. We don't know if King is okay, we don't know what Ida is up to, we don't know what the Collector uh, has been doing to the Boiling Isles, although uh, Mooring Mark, uh, I have seen his comics for his ideas about what he thinks is going on, and so that's the image I have to go on at the moment, so it ain't pretty. I mean, my heart was just literally pounding throughout the entire episode. Like, I know it's uh, typical to say I'm on the edge of my seat and my heart is pounding, but no, I, I literally was doing that so many times throughout this episode, and that's a good thing because it means it's hitting me on a personal level. And back to the character focus stuff, there was just so much good character work, so many scenes that I didn't expect to get, especially in regards to Camila, like uh, with the flashbacks about Luz's childhood, getting a little bit of information on her own experiences, that dream sequences kind of showed her fears and anxieties that she's had to deal with over the last few years and how it informs her choices as the episode goes on. <laughs> and obviously we get plenty of moments uh, with Luz, like, that poor girl has just been uh, through so much and she has, you know, just had so many trials, so, I mean, you, but you can't really blame her uh, for feeling the way that she does. In fact, the, the fact that she is, you know, just so worn out is a testament to how much she really cares and it's heartbreaking because one of the things I've always loved about Luz as a character is that, you know, she really, really inspires me, which if you had told me when I started watching this show that I, uh, you know, man in his early 20s would be inspired by this uh, fictional 14 year old girl on a Disney Channel show that I would take so much inspiration from her, I'd call you crazy, but, you know, this show has a funny way of doing that. Again, I have always just looked up to her, her optimism, her positivity, her unique outlook on the world, how she finds a way to overcome challenges by embracing 
who she is so to see just how beaten down she is i mean that that, that really hurts man and but um there's also hope that things will work out after all and like i mean there is a good chance obviously that Luz will have to go back to the human realm and that the portal will be destroyed and that she'll never be able to see the boiling isles again and you know if that does happen so be it i mean it will at least leave an emotional impact but this episode is suggesting that you know not only is it possible that things could work out better in the end but it actually you know might be thematically appropriate because on the one hand you could say that uh Luz saying goodbye to her fantasy world and fully embracing uh her own world after everything that she's learned and how she's grown is the appropriate ending but this episode also shows that uh no you don't have to completely uh blame yourself cut yourself off from you know who you are uh and your unique way of doing things maybe there is a way to embrace that so this episode is hinting that uh, there's at least a possibility that a slightly uh, happier ending with Luz being able to go back and forth between realms could be on the table i'm not getting my hopes up uh too much in that regard but it's at least a possibility so and and that gets me intrigued like just how is this show going to end how are things going to wrap up uh It'll be really interesting to find out. Gosh, there's so many great things to list in this episode. You know, all the Lumity stuff in the opening montage, uh, Hunter and uh, Gus's bromance. Uh, Hunt Low uh, definitely uh, is going to be canon by the end, and I love that. Uh, V's new design, that's great. Uh, seeing all these characters interact, all of them keeping different secrets from each other, dealing with their own stuff. Uh, the Star Trek references, especially because I've been getting into Star Trek Enterprise uh, recently and I'm watching the Orville with my dad getting him to watch that so I've been in a Star Trek mood recently so that was cool and uh, and the epic fight with Bellis at the end learning that Flapjack uh, rest in peace oh my god uh, was actually Evelyn it's like I don't know if we will actually get a full flashback uh, by the end of the show, but, you know, maybe we don't need to because maybe it's more powerful to get the information in this manner from the perspective of the characters and, you know, leaving, you know, the full, concrete, detailed story to our own interpretation. So if we get a flashback, it would be cool, but I guess we don't have to. And, uh, you know, Hunter, the experience that he went through, uh, that was really something and now they are finally going back to the boiling isles and God, it sucks that we have to wait months now to see what's going to happen next but like i said it gives us time to build the anticipation to talk about and uh theorize about everything and it just it's just gonna be nice to know that the show is not over and that there is still more to come so yeah i'm sure if i went back and analyzed uh, every little moment there would be so much more to talk about so much more praise to give but in the end this was a fantastic start to the final season it exceeded my expectations i can't wait to go back and watch it again and pick apart the little details and you know maybe make some more videos on it it was such a fantastic episode such a good story i cannot wait uh, for the next special and uh, until then i'm just going to be happy with what we've got and uh, it's good to be back and with that i'm gonna turn it over to you guys what did you think of the season three premiere of the owl house what are your theories and predictions for what's going to happen next what stuck out to you the most uh what do you think of my thoughts and opinions whatever it is feel free to share your thoughts down in the comments and let me know what you think if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss when i upload a new reaction a big thank you as well to all my patrons i appreciate you guys sticking with me me these last couple months as uh, I've been trying to figure some things out on my channel and kind of going back and forth with things but again I appreciate you guys sticking with me because every little bit of support really does mean a lot and be sure to check out my other Owl House videos I recently did a ranking of all 40 episodes from the first two seasons I've done some other rankings and theories videos in the past I've done some fun little edit videos and of course I have reacted to every episode of the show you can check that all out uh, either up here or in the description wherever it ends up being and while I'm promoting myself, I may as well mention my second channel, the Media Monologue, where I do full-length essay videos, so be sure to check that out if you like my content. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for The Owl House Season 3, Episode 2.
whenever that may be.